So let's move on to 1977. These are our top picks for all the games released in 1977. All right, so the game of, uh, from the chat, Chiptune Chronicles, has any reason for the strange name of 280 Zap? And yes, it is based on an old car called a Datsun 280. So they, they used that, but the Zap part was to play into the whole video game thing. At least that's what I read. Uh, you, you can take it with a grain of salt. I, I don't see the reason why they want to say Zap. I guess to have more Zs looks cool. All right, so here's the best of the best of the games of 1977, starting with the launch title of Atari 2600. This is Combat. And uh, we rated this one uh, four and a half stars. Combat is amazing. Uh, this one has multiple game modes. Check it out in the top left corner. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's, look at look how many game modes you can play. And you see it's changing the background between uh, biplanes, uh, tanks, and uh, jets. And so when you decide to play the game, you, you reset and then the, the, the game is very simple, control with one joystick. You can uh, move your tank around, fire a shot. You even have the ability to curve the shot around the corners. So I'm, I'm, I'm controlling the red tank on the left and you can see I can get that shot. Oh, I almost got him around the corner there. But it has to be played with two people or uh, more. Uh, this one can be played, I uh, actually, I think this one was only two. We had other Atari games that did have four controllers, but this one was just two. So from the chat, Chipton Chronicle says, killer packing game with my 2600 wood grain console I got as a kid. Thanks so much for being here. I was not there when it was released. I was one of the, let's get the Atari from the yard sale. So I played uh, my Atari and had this game uh, in the uh, early 80s, not in uh, the, the 70s when it was first released. And this one is fantastic. Uh, so if we if we wanted to keep through going through game modes, you can see it changes the play field. It even changes some of the uh, uh, mechanics of the game. So if you want to look at the manual, check out what you can see and what, what gets changed on the game. So this is explaining how to play. You can see it's showing how to guy how to curve and then bounce off walls. But you can see here, this is all of the examples of the different tank games, uh, if you want to play Invisible Tank, and then Tank Pong when it bounces off the walls, Invisible Tank Pong, then it has the biplane games, the jet fighter games, and this explains what they all do and how, how to play it. So much fun. Definitely uh, worth it. So we get that one four and a half stars. The, this is the best of the best of 1977. Moving on to our next game. This is Mattel Electronics Football, the the second handheld video game uh, you could ever play. We didn't give it to the first one because as far as gameplay, it was uh, it, it was rough. So it, it didn't make the four and a half stars, but uh, football definitely did. We're not able to boot it up. We give this one four and a half because everyone that was in the 70s, most people had this or had played this. Very influential for the handheld market. All right, so moving on to uh, our nut, another game. This is Space Wars that was released uh, in 1977. And we gave this one four and a half stars because this was the very first vector-based video game by Cinematronics. Cinematronics released a lot of vector-based video games. And check out the way this looks when I put the quarter in. This came out before Asteroids, but the same style of the ship, uh, it looks exactly the same. Oh, let's see if we can boot, uh, get the controls for us. We want to do, oh, option zero. There we go. So here we go. This is, uh, uh, if you look in the bottom left, I am the ship. It looks just like the ship from Asteroid, but I have a shot. I have uh, thrusters. It doesn't have as, as um, advanced uh, movement of the ship in Asteroids, but look at this. I am... I'm, I'm flying around, and I'm, the aim of the game is you're supposed to blow up the other ship, which you have to have a second player. But you can see the second ship looks a lot like the Starship Enterprise from, uh, from Star Trek. But uh, look at this. This is before Asteroids came out, and well worth the, the four and a half stars. Space Wars in 77. <laughs> All right, moving on to our next game. This is um, Space Bug. We gave this four and a half stars because this was the very first game we had ever seen that scrolled. It wasn't on the same screen. When you play Space Bug, uh, you can see how I'm in control of a car and it's moving up. This, the screen is scrolling uh, higher up. Can I switch gears? Oh, there you go. It's gonna go faster. I don't know how crazy this will look, but um, 
it, it, it's giving us the idea that there's something else beyond the borders of the screen. And this is the very first game we ever saw that did this. There's more to the screen. Here, I'll just stop the car. There's more to the video game than just this or what we see. We know that there's going to be something else. Because uh, every other uh, racing game we played from a top-down perspective, it was all on the same screen. Sprint and uh, Indy, they all zoomed all the way out and you could see the whole course from the top down. That's four and a half. The best of the best of 1977. And then our next game is Tank Plus, which is the uh, the Sears, I'm sorry, Telegames version of Combat. Combat's more popular, everyone knows Combat. It's the exact same game, just the, uh, we gave it the same score, four and a half stars. And here's another one, this is awesome. This is Car Polo, that was released in 77. I gave this one a five star rating because this is uh, such an ingenious idea. It is a driving game where four people can play the game, four, so it has four wheels and four pedals around uh, uh, the, the arcade cabinet, and everybody that, jo that joins in can drive cars, and you're, uh, you're, you're, you're playing a... <laughs> it's going to wait for the other people. I put a quarter in, but you're, you're driving cars around, and you're playing soccer, which is like modern-day Rocket League, if you're familiar with that game. But the, the, I don't know any other game that's done this idea, where you're you're driving cars and you're playing soccer. And you can see here, I'm playing against computer players because we don't have anybody else that joined in. But I'm the red car. I'm driving around, and you push the uh, the, the the ball in the goal, and they call it car polo uh, instead of soccer. But great idea. That is five stars. Yes. Casey Club Curry, it's 1977 Rocket League. That's exactly what it is. I can't believe this was a thing. Five stars for sure for 77. And then for our next game, this is Air Sea Battle. We gave this four and a half stars for the Atari. Uh, this was one of the other launch titles for the Atari 2600. Four and a half stars because, again, check out all the game modes. One, two, three, four, five. We get sound effects when we switch the game modes. <laughs> that is classic. So many different ways you can play this, and if we just do the, do the normal mode, it is a home version of a way you can play a, a shooter before there was shooters. So it's it's 77, and you're playing this before Space Invaders took the world by storm. And there's lots of different game modes of, of uh, different things that fly by or how you play. It, it You still need two people, though. You can see there's no one taking control of the, the gun on this side. But uh, well worth the, 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 the rating. Four and a half stars for 1977. And there you go. That's our best of the best of 1977. 